go in Atlanta, got the best of him in the map. DeJounte Murray scored 30. John Collins had 19. Troy Young added 18. The Hawks dropped 130 on Dallas. So needless to say, Mavs head coach Jason Kidd not exactly pleased with the defensive effort. Listen to this. If it's with this personnel, then you, you got to, you know, keep asking or demanding, you know, for those guys uh, to play defense. It's not, you know, just the offensive end. And, you know, tonight, um, again, we give up 130. The team shot 57 percent. It's a shoot around. You know, and in, in this case, in this league, you do that, no matter if you have Luka or Kareem or LeBron, you're going to lose. It doesn't matter how many points you score. You're always going to be short. It's a shoot around. Mm -hmm. So what's the calculation, Becky, that you have to make as a coach of when you're going to publicly call out your team and when you're going to be like, all right, we're just going to keep this in-house? Yeah. So I think a couple of things. First of all, uh, you're not calling out your team unless you've said this directly to your players mm -hmm. behind closed doors a hundred times. You've got to be very clear with what their job objective is defensively. Then you've got to show them the how, how we're going to do this. And then they've got to bring the effort. At the end of the day, I don't know how you hold people accountable if they don't, they're not doing their job. Well, you go back to the basics. You know what your job is. You know how to do your job, and now you bring the effort. But right here, try hard. Try hard every time, and then you can start to build off something. Because defense, a lot of times, and especially in an 82-game season, I know it's a knock on the NBA, right? Like, they don't play any defense. Well, there's some times where you have to get that stop, and 122 points is enough to win a game. Yeah. So you got to start looking at the other end of the floor, mm -hmm. but you don't go public until you've hammered this point so hard behind closed doors that now it's kind of like, okay, y'all, now we're going to go put you on blast. So what, Chanae, are the numbers <laughs> that needed to be put on blast here? Because I know you've been diving into this. Yeah, we were talking to the rake, and Richard was like, oh, what's the answer? I was like, I have the answer. I was like, oh, my bad. Right? But I actually also had an epiphany. Around this time last year, Coach Jason Kidd actually did the same thing. He didn't say it out loud, but you saw their defense transform. Last year, they had the seven the best defense in the NBA right now they have the 25th and so I think this is a little bit of a calculation mm. saying hey defensively we turn it up because what happened after we turned our defense around we made a huge playoff oh, run, run yeah. and so they sort of figured out offense with Christian Wood I like the production there now they have to figure out defense and they'll be more complete but like coach Becky Hammond said it has to start with effort and you have to have buy-in from your star player as well right with Luca improving his defense there as well so I'm guessing you, you've been called out by a coach oh, oh god You've been oh. called out by a coach. Yeah, not that many times. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start with the liar. Uh, okay. <laughs> what, when you're looking at this, how do you respond as a player when you've been called out publicly like Well, I, I think uh, uh, Coach and Cheney both said it right. You don't say it publicly unless you've said it privately. Uh, he did call out his team. And, again, last year I think it was the postseason where he called out his players publicly during the postseason. Everybody was like, oh, what's – is it – it's like – this is Jason Kidd, one of the greatest players to ever play our game. There is no doubt argument, especially on the defensive end. So it wasn't, we know the passes, but defensively, he's one of the best guards ever. So when he can judge effort, and one of the things when we talk to him is when he won a championship with Dirk, he said this, Dirk, give us a second and a half. Right? You got Jason Terry, you got Tyson Chandler, you got talented players behind you. You just got to give us half a second. And right now, I don't think his players are giving each other that half second of help. Well, he said it. If you lack skill, then you got to have the effort, right? And they lack skill around Luka. Also, this is a test. Who's going to respond, right, in great fashion? Or who's going to pout about it? Because the trade deadline coming up. Trade deadline is coming <laughs> February 9th. Is yeah. that a paper airplane? Yes. When did you make that? Uh, when Perk was talking. Will it fly? While Perk was talking. Yeah, Will it fly, fly Richard? What? First, wait a second. This is not on demand. I'm waiting for the one minute to come back. All right. Well, I want to make another one. We had a lot of fun. Oh! That's really That's a impressive. great one. I know. Today we'll be back camera. in six Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.